hey hey party people today we are making this gorgeous outfit by dior which was won by anya taylor at golden globes i took some of these pictures out from instagram for my reference pictures and i used this croquis figure from my collection first we'll make the inside dress and then the outside one for inside dress you can follow the shape of the body uh, as it is body fitted I also used one illustration by Arman Mahidri uh, on the left side as you can see uh, as a guide he is also a fashion illustrator. This is kind of like a flow length overcoat I don't know. Let's just say it is. We'll first make the front side and then the back side of it because you can also see the back side of this overcoat from the front. Also, notice that this overcoat lays on the inside gown. So, while adding your shadows, make sure you uh, consider this. Now, we'll add some color to the body and some shadows. Side note, before adding any color to the body or the outfit, uh, make sure you pick a light source. So, my light source is on the right side. So, my shadows are on the left side. The insides of your garment, like under your arms, the shadows will be the darkest. I feel that the hand is not properly placed, so I'm using the laser tool and moving it inside a little bit. Add your shadows when your garment curves inward. From front side, you can also see some inside fabric of the gown, so make sure you shadow it too. Now it's time to add some highlights to your outfits. I'm going to make the overcoat a bit thick and flowy. Remember my favorite tool, blur tool? I use it to blur my shadows and highlights because I don't really like definite shadows or highlights. Not in every case at least but uh, uh, in my fashion illustrations I like to blur it a bit so it basically looks mixed you can notice where my overcoat is curling inwards I'm adding shadows there too so keep such things in mind again I am just adding some shadows and uh, highlights and blurring them out just doing some trial and error I don't really like the placement of the hand on the right side so I'm just moving it and seeing which looks better now let's do something about footwear if you're hearing some noise in the background it's because it's drizzling out there and the weather is just awesome it's time for some sparkles i'm kidding it's sequins people now what's missing oh yes hairdo so the purpose of this uh, illustration is not to make Anya Taylor but to illustrate the outfit worn by her. Do you guys like the changes that I made in the hair? Now we'll add some highlights and shadows to the hair also. A note about shadows and highlights. So you have your base color. For shadows you will use a darker version of that color or say less value of that color and for highlights you will use a lighter version of that color that your base color and uh, which means higher value for that color if you didn't understand the thing about values just forget it uh, just keep in mind darker version for shadows and lighter for highlights and we are done if you learned something new today make sure you like and subscribe if you have any questions leave them in the comments box and I'll see you in the next video.